Talking with Coleraine Township on Waycross Community Media. I'm Dana Gagnon, Government Programming Coordinator, and I'm here with Coleraine Trustee Raj Rajagopal. Raj, thank you so much for joining us. Thank you, Dana. Thank you for giving me this opportunity to come and talk about Coleraine Township. That's one of the things I hear at all the trustees' meetings is transparency, and that's one of the things we love doing in this program because we hope it's another venue where people can find out what's going on. Exactly right, and, uh, and uh, you, you, you've probably seen from the, all the board meeting, we emphasize on the transparency. Uh, that's what I promised in my campaign, mm -hmm. and people have right to know what's going on in the government and what's going on, what's going to happen, how people can, we, gotta, we should have a more participation, uh, the communication between the citizens, the citizens and the government. That's the best way to go. I see that participation a lot at the meetings. Yeah. Um, also, I have noticed other things the township is doing to communicate. Right. Uh, what are some of those other things that people will see if they're looking for information? They are, uh, um, you know, we, of course, we have the Waycross, uh, uh, you know, the live uh, broadcasting and people seeing that. And also, we are we developing a new website. So people have access to a new website, which is completely tells what's going on. And that the, the also, they have new tools to, to make an agendas and minutes more accessible. And uh, we also got the new tools give residents uh, unprecedented access to our budget. Actually, people can see what's going on in our budget you know, how uh, the township is spending money uh, so they can have an input on our, uh, the budget system. Uh, and, um, you know, we said the recently we adopted uh, 2019 budget plan and a budget book provides the residents the insight into our uh, priorities for our 2019. This is a remarkable thing, which they never had that opportunity to see that. So this all part of the transparency that the residents have. I have uh, taken a look at the website and it's, it's laid out really nicely. It's easy to find things right on the front page. And I see right on the front page that budget book is right there that anyone who wants to access it. And I don't right. think I've ever seen something like a budget book that accessible easily without having to go through any channels. No. So that's no, definitely transparency. Yes, definitely. And this, the, you know, this is very important. People need to know, hey, I'm paying a tax, you know, for my service and how they're spending the money. Uh, this is a great tool. People know where my, my money goes to. Absolutely, you know, absolutely. Yeah. absolutely. And um, we, can, we can testify that the Waycross meetings yeah. are definitely being watched uh, definitely, because yeah. we will find out if someone's, uh, you know, of course you find out when um, uh, a meeting switches off and we switch it back on or something like that. So that's yeah. good though. That means we can see that people are watching it right. and you, the trustees, are getting messages from people watching it at home uh, yeah. during the meetings, which I find fascinating when I see that happening. I will see someone say, I just got a text from this citizen, yeah. and they want to remind me to mention this. And I yeah. thought, that's, um, that's that participation that right. we wanted to see, that people are feeling connected and per part of it, and they're not just passively watching it, but they're participating in it. Good, yeah. So that's really exciting to see. Yeah, great. Um, I have also... Um, especially because I get to attend these meetings, yeah. I have also heard a lot of economic development projects going on in Coleraine. Yeah, uh, definitely. We have, a, a, you know, you, you saw that uh, the new Kroger, the World Market Kroger yeah. is open, and also you see that the, the, the Rumkey uh, project will be opening up, and also you will see uh, um, uh, <coughs> this uh, West Union Square, uh, you know, you heard about oh, the yeah. West Indian Square, and, and also the 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 rum economic development is one of our important thing for a Coleraine Township, and even though uh, the you know the the Northgate Mall expansion, mm -hmm. and we 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 have some grant money, uh, we do a study on this how we t transform the Northgate Mall 
like a Sears closed, we plan mm -hmm. to make like an apartment building. And also try to bring in the hospitals, in the, the children's hospital there, children's, uh, the doctor's office. These are the economic developments. We also heard about the uh, Duke Energy will be coming on the, on the site where the, fi the Fireside Motel was there. Uh, you also, the, the major economic development is take part because the, the, the expansion of Corinth Avenue. Uh, mm -hmm. You know, you heard in the uh, previous meeting, we have a funding to do the study. We actually, they, you know, they signed off uh, money to do the funding for the uh, cold and Avenue beautifications. And these are the part of the economic development because uh, it brings back the more business, attracts mm -hmm. more business. Uh, and you'll, you'll see a lot of you know, uh, economic development will be flourishing in, in a, uh, in a Coleraine Township. And I think that's important because things like Coleraine have expansion in themselves. It's hard to see exactly why, why are we focusing on that. But it's worth it when that brings a whole lot of industry and business to your area that says, Correct. oh, this is a worthwhile place to be now. Right. Um, and it's accessible and it's attractive and it's where I want to put my business. It, it's it, you know it, it's it's all connected with the also uh, if you if you you if you emphasize on the Colden Avenue also connected with the the neighborhood. Mm -hmm. That's one of my goal is the building a, a nice a solid neighborhood, and we have a grant money uh, uh, to study the how we can improve the uh, the Northbrook area, the Northbrook neighborhood. Uh, building a, a, the community housing. Uh, mm -hmm. This is how to build that, bring the shopping to the Northbrook area. So also we need to focus on the Grossback and, and uh, the Pleasant Ridge. All this neighborhood, they all connected with the one point where how the coal in itself can flourish, mm -hmm. you know, bring back the, uh, uh, the new, new development, economic development. Because Coleraine Township is a very big area with very different kinds of neighborhoods. Right. And so to keep all those tied together takes extra planning and extra focus on Definitely. Yeah. You know, uh, when I ran for the office, this one of my goal was to build a strong road in the Coleraine Township. And we spent about $8 million invested in, the, uh, mm -hmm. in, in 2018, uh, uh, Burnside, you know, Burnside Road. And, um, uh, the other one is Gardenia and uh, Royal Heights. Uh, these are the, in the local neighborhood spend $8 million to build a, a good road system. And also, in a, uh, we have the repayment program. We're spending about $1.2 million in the local roads. Uh, this, is, this is very important. Uh, and also, I, I connected with the ODOT Mm -hmm. Ohio Department of Transportation and the county engineers. So we're building a strong relationship. So how they can help us to build a better road system. Uh, with the help of the county, Amaran County engineer Ted Hubbard mm -hmm. and Fred Shillam, and now we working. We have the grant to build the East Mayan River Road. That's a, that. a beautiful road. You know, they already started the one project from uh, Butler County line to the all the way to the Heritage Park. The second phase will be from Harrison Avenue to the all the way passing Thompson Road. So they will be doing it in 2019. We already approved for the grant. So it's very important we collaborate with this, the local other, uh, uh, the government and the state government to build the road system. And you'll see it by 2019 we have a better roads in Colerain Townships. I love how that includes not just trying to do the town single-handedly, trying to cover the roads, but working with Ohio Department of Transportation, Hamilton County engineers, yeah. um, grant money. Grant money is yeah. great, so it's yeah. not all trying to be done on It's, it's not yeah. taxpayers' money, yeah. like East Miami River Road. Yeah. It's, it's come from the grant money from the state. You know, That's uh, exciting. So, so it's very exciting. Yeah, um, absolutely. I, I love that road. <laughs> And I also love, I know we, we're past this, some of that economic development is happening, most of that is happening in what we see all over the country, these empty box stores and these empty spaces and 
hotel spaces, and they are getting repurposed into part of that economic development. So yeah. not only is it development, but it's also preventing those kind of vacant places, which right. doesn't doesn't help a community look like it's growing or be connected. And exactly right. It's it's a we got a great uh, zoning and planning department, and they really work closely uh, with the with with with, with trustees and. They know what our exp expectations are and what's our goals, what we're looking for. That's really great. Yeah. There are, um, there's, a lot of sp there's a lot of background work that has to be done to keep that kind of growth happening intentionally and continually. So that definitely speaks to an actively engaged zoning group yeah. that's working on that. You know, Dana, if you, if you drive around Colin Township, it's a beautiful township. And yeah. it's amazing, you know. I, I think um, my goal is, you know, we, we, I want, we want to take one step higher, Colton Township, and these kind of projects, building the roads, uh, reducing crime, and right now the Colton Township crime rate is going down. The building a strong neighborhood, what, what I just mentioned about it, yeah. and bringing a lot of business, attracts the business. And, and it's all a very critical factor to build a good neighborhood. Uh, Good, you know, good township. Now it's been a while since we've had the chance to talk with Coleraine, and one of the things that we saw this fall is some exciting football in Coleraine. Yeah, yes, yes, yes. You know, I, I never seen um, now um, the, the the community coming together. You know how it is in, in this football is uh, number one. Now you know all all these uh, people are so excited. We going to the state championship and, and brought all the people together, and also we our our people coming together. Not only they rejoice, also the sadness. We also saw the little baby, uh, the Brody Allen, uh, yes. the loss of the little child. You know, and at that time, the whole, our whole neighborhood kind of mourned. They, yeah. they 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 went in a deep sa uh, sadness, and. All the people got together. You know, I never seen that type of uh, the the bondage in our community, and it's, it's it's you know seeing this and and I'm I'm kind of overwhelmed with how we can bring it more closer to this uh, yeah. together yeah. in the community. We got great people in this community, and that was very tragic, but it was really heartwarming to see a whole community. Yeah. literally do Christmas in the summertime yes, yes. to make sure a little person got to have Christmas yeah. and uh, people that had no connection to each other just right. doing things because yeah. it was for Brody Allen. Yeah, it, it's, it's, it, it's a moment. You know, I, I really want to thank our community uh, coming together and, and, and to celebrate the joy, also be part of the sadness. Uh, that's yeah. amazing. Yeah. yeah, and as exciting as the football, and the football was very exciting, um, as exciting as the football was and getting to watch and the whole Coleraine community yeah. uh, just go crazy, crazy, which was so exciting. But I think that one of the things that brings closeness is also being close when yeah. there are sad things. Yes, so, yes. Um, 20, 2018 definitely had the chance for both oh, of those uh, things. You know, Tony, you know, I think 2018 is a, very highlight of a Colin Township. We hired a new administrator, Jeff Mills, yeah, yeah. a very, very uh, talented guy, aggressive. Also, we hired a, a, a assistant administrator, Jeff mm -hmm. Bach, you know. So we got two young guys and very talented guys, and they will take the lead our township in yeah. a great direction. And they both have really impressive backgrounds to take yes. into this. Yes. And uh, I have been impressed with the kind of information they have prepared at every single meeting. They're just ready. Yeah. Uh, that's and so and I didn't realize how new Jeff was. Yeah. Um, so it's because that, that's all I got to come in to see. So that was exciting to get to see. Um, are there other things about yeah, yeah, 2018 yeah. you want to make sure we get to talk about? Like like I said, and, uh, you know, uh, the 2018 was a good year for me. It's a learning experience yeah. and being a uh, first year in, in my government yeah. uh, elected official uh, in, 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 the, in, the, in the stage. And I learned a lot, but what I learned in 2018, I'm going to 
take it to 2019, how we can do better improve that, you know, the, the, the township. Uh, we did, you know, like probably the high point of the two, 2018 is more transparency. Mm -hmm. You know, we brought more transparency like we, we, we talked about it earlier. And that's what, and also the, the another big thing happened in the township, we formed a financial advisory committee consist mm -hmm. of very talented, uh, the citizens of the Colden Township. And this group of people will meet and also see what's the need and assess what we're doing. They will advise the, uh, the trustees, uh, what are the plans you know, we can do to take Colden Township one step higher. You know, what's our financial needs are, uh, those kind of things they can advise. Those people and the advisory committees are very talented people, very retired people, and very devoted citizens. Excellent. Yeah. And I feel like there's three of you as trustees, and that to get the expertise from as many people as possible has to be key. Right. Um, you know, they come from various background. Yeah, yeah, because you can only have so much yeah. of your own background, although you do have impressive backgrounds. Yes. Um, there's only so much, so to be able to bring in all these experts, the, the people in the zoning planning boards that are bringing their expertise and the financial advisory p committee that are bringing their expertise, yeah. uh, that makes a big difference, I think. <laughs> That's excellent. Um, I want to mention, because I know people may be looking for where do I get more information about Colrain projects, and we already talked about the website, right. colrain.org. Everything is on there. But there's also something called Circle. Okay, yeah, that yeah, they circle. can sign up for we also. Sign up. Okay. We also, uh, I, I, I urge the citizens, you got anything that you want to ask, you can directly call the trustees, also send the email to our administrator, and Jeff Mills is very good in responding to the mm -hmm. emails, and, and uh, uh, you know, we'll, we'll respond to the needs. And this one thing, uh, all three of our trustees, we aimed at just be close participating trustees with the, with the residents. You know, and then also we got um, looking for, like I said, 2019 yeah. is a beautification of the Coldrain Avenue. It's a big project. And, uh, uh, you know, all this new branding and uh, uh, the, uh, the town hall also, we plan to do uh, the town hall meetings. Okay. You know, that's very important. We'll go to the, the neighborhood itself, instead of trustees sitting in the, in the township me in the hall, we'll, go, we'll plan to have a town hall meetings where the, the citizens will come and talk directly in a small group, uh, address their whole citizens. That's an important thing. And we are definitely uh, taking uh, the Colden Township to the better economic development uh, you know, uh, site. You know. I think that's why it's important to have a chance to have these conversations because I don't know if people realize how much intentional planning is going on yeah. to keep Tol Colerain Township the kind of growing community and active community and connected community that it is. Yeah. But it doesn't happen just because. It happens because you have a lot of people very carefully planning for that and working towards that. Yeah, you, you, you know, it's very important, you know, like if there is no citizens participation with the township you don't mm -hmm. see anything at all it's very important mm -hmm. we don't know we don't you know you, like like i said a coldrain township consists of a big diversity here a huge yeah. diversity of people from everywhere is here and uh, we need to take care of every part of the people here absolutely and, and that's our job and 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 2019 that's what we're gonna do. We, we're gonna we're gonna address this strong neighborhood. Important, it's very very important. And only way we can achieve that strong neighborhood, we have to go to the neighborhood, mm -hmm. talk to the people, not sitting in the township hall. Let let the people come to us. But this time, I'm going to uh, lay more emphasis the going to the neighborhoods, talk to the people through the, like a town hall meeting setup and come back and sit with this, our advisory committee, our team, uh, our other leadership team. Dana, we got a 
best uh, leadership team in the Col Colton Township. We have one of the best fire department, best police department. Our fire department is number one in the country. Our police department, they got all kinds of certification. So we have all this strong, uh, uh, the leadership who can run this program mm -hmm. and give a better service to the community. That's very, very, we are excited about that. We need to keep, continue to keep the group supporting this, yeah. our leadership team and, and give the better service to the people. Absolutely, and I have watched, um, I don't know that I've ever seen a group be so just accessible to yeah. people. And I, on the website, you can see their uh, phone numbers and their emails. You don't have to go through several channels. It's the trustees' phone numbers and emails right there. Yes. Go ahead and, um, as well as Jeff Mills, as you said, he can answer all kinds of questions. And uh, I see that, uh, well, like I said, yeah. uh, at a meeting, I will see a trustee get a text from somebody and say, yeah. hey, don't forget this. So uh, that's impressive. You are not just saying we want to be accessible, but I'm watching that accessibility. Yeah. So. so one thing you probably seen in the meeting, even when the citizens address their concerns, we always respond. Yes. And not only we respond at the meeting, we all, uh, Dane Hunger, Greg, or myself, mm -hmm. on weekends, we drive by uh, to, the, to the places and, and see what the situation is, what, what kind of needs they are. Then we come back, we talk to our, our management team, and, and they respond to it. And that's very important. We are connecting with the people. That's, you know, that's, that's I've never seen that before. And these trustees, that we actually connecting with the people. And I'm, I'm, I'm really uh, proud and happy to be a part of that, that, that type of uh, group. Yeah, it's a, it's a great team to get to watch. Yeah. <laughs> Sometimes it <laughs> takes too long, you know? Well, and that is the trick. If, if you're willing to be that accessible and be that transparent, then, yeah. then you have to leave time for it. Yeah. Um, but I see that happening, and so that's exciting yeah. because uh, I see that oh, the door is open. Um, and I can see that the public in Coleraine is feeling the door is open, yeah. which is half the problem, I think, for people to feel like you actually want their input. Yeah. And I think they're feeling like you do want their input, which is Definitely, a good thing. Yeah, yeah. yeah. I, you know, we continue to do that. I want to mention about another neighborhood project that uh, I would like to start, which is the lighting district. Uh, I get, you, you know, I drive around like uh, Northbrook area, some other neighborhood. It's very dark. There's no mm -hmm. lights in the street. What it happens, two things. Uh, it draws the criminals, dope dealers, to hang around and do the, all the illegal activities. And also, it, it you know, is safety issue, number one. So we, we're working closely with the, uh, especially the Northbrook area, the Niagara Road, there's, there's no lights there, and we get a, enough signature. We need about 51% signatures so we uh, we like to create we, you know we we plan to create a funding for the lighting district that's number one thoughts i want to tell you a little bit the village i came from in india there's no electricity you know uh, and and finally the electricity came the then they put the street lights it, it's amazing i didn't have electricity when i grew up uh, till high school that i used to do all my homework and, and the light street. So it, it really, man, uh, you know, wh why we don't have lighting here? And it, it's also in the summertime, there's a lot of lighting, the children's can be able to play outside. Mm -hmm. Now it's dark. That's one of the things I really, really focus on, uh, have a lighting in the, in the neighborhood. Uh, before my term, end of my term, almost every district, every neighborhood in the neighborhood, Colton Township will have the lighting. That you want, you're really, literally lighting up Coleraine Township. Coleraine Township. That's fantastic. Yeah, we talked about, we're putting a lot of neighborhood policing uh, to reduce the illegal activities. You know, that's, and that's important. That brings us back to neighborhoods again and building neighborhoods yes. and making sure they're lit and they're safe and that they have police presence there that they see. Well, and a lot of times they just need to see it. They just right. need to see the police are actually there. And then, they, you know, that's, that's enough. 
before I wrap up, is there anything else you want to make sure you get to talk about? You know, I, uh, just what we do that this 2019, it's a great year. I'm looking forward to serve, uh, like what I mentioned to you, continue to build it. And also, you know about the uh, the Mega Land, oh, we're yes. building the park. This Playgrounds. Week. I'm Playground. excited about I'm Playgrounds. I'm a big fan of Playgrounds. I, I, all my children grew up in parks. And that's the best place to take my children, learn all the skills. Yes. And uh, thank God they are very successful now. Because So I'm a big uh, fan of building. A, we have a grant for that to build a, a huge Mega Land Park. And we have a grant also. We got a matching fund, a lot of donors oh, uh, giving the money to it. And you, you, we'll, we'll, you'll keep seeing one at a time all the things happening. Uh, uh, like a, you see the road, roads are being built, a lot of business will be coming in. Mm -hmm. And we keep our township uh, you know, taking to the right direction. I'm glad you remembered Megaland because I get excited about a new playground even yeah. though I'm technically too old, I think, for a playground. Um, and so is my daughter, but we'll still probably go check out this playground because, Play, yeah. um, because like you said, this is a place that I took her when she was small and to get have active outdoor places. Yeah. Kids, there's enough information out there saying that kids don't have enough of that. That's a key part of a community, yeah. is active outdoor places for kids to go and play. And You know, also I want to mention about, you know, uh, our, our fire department, police department, uh, they are one of the number one in the state uh, on the uh, address the opiate crisis. Yes. And the Colerain Township, uh, they were aggressively fighting against against the opiate crisis. So we are lucky. We are very, very in the solid ground of, for our children, our, our residents, uh, keep them away from this, uh, all the opiate drug abuse and we, we, they're fighting very hard for that. You know, and also I want to uh, tell you that uh, we having a, uh, the federal government being a partnership with mm -hmm. the Colerain Township. And they're gonna have an office here in Colerain Township. Really, okay. The regional uh, uh, strike force. Okay. That's, that, that shows a lot of thing for the Colerain Township. You know, there's gonna be a, a drug-free township. Uh, you know, yeah. it's good for our young children to, yeah. you know, also to raise a family. And that's important for people to know, looking at the area and where do we want to be, and Colerain Township is looking at things like good places for kids to be and safe places for kids to be, and uh, that's that's part of that development and growth of a town. Is yeah, to it's just, right. a, you know, it's nationally a lot of places uh, hurt by this opiate crisis, yeah. uh, overdose, and, and the, our, our department, they're using uh, the QRT program as uh, that's number one in the state. Okay. I'm, I'm really uh, happy that we have an excellent fire department. That's fantastic. That is yeah. a really, it's just to know that those resources are in your community and a federal office will then be in your yes, community. Yes, yes. We are very great. excited about that. Yeah. Well, thank you so much thank for you, coming down to the studio. Yeah. And thank you for watching, talking with Cole Rain on Waycross Community Media. That means you are staying in touch with the things that are going on in your township. We've been here with Trustee Raj Rajagopal, and we have been talking about what's going on this coming year in Cole Rain Township and the things that have happened this past year in Cole Rain Township. And we look forward to seeing you next time on Talking with Cole Rain Township.